Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanolathes at Dawn. I remain your host, Chad of Fury333, and this last match for tonight will be between Anarchid and Hokomoko on Living Lands. Good old classic Living Lands, which is actually, I think, only a year old as a map. Deadlands is much more classic, but Living Lands is a better map. It's also prettier, and as everyone knows, I like pretty. And for some reason, people think I'm on drugs because I do so. Anyway, let's keep going. Anarchid with the Light Vehicle Factory against Hokomoko playing with the Amphib Factory. Hokomoko's favorite factory, or at least has been historically their favorite factory. I don't know if their opinion on it has changed in the last few months. Because people have kind of figured out the Amphib matchups. That being said, I'm not really sure how familiar the Light Vehicle Amphib matchup is. It's normally been a like Cloaky and Shield versus Amph, but... Light Vehicle versus Amphib. Anarchid going for Slasher's early early mobile defense, a strategy which comes up from time to time, but isn't the most common strategy for light vehicles. Hokomoko, on the other hand, going for a bunch of ducks, which is the common strategy for light vehicles. Now that Anarchid has seen this, though, they know that the Amphib's coming up, although, admittedly, they already kind of did. There's no change to strategy. The Slashers are probably there to preempt the ducks, just stop the ducks from getting close enough to actually do anything. And... This, well, otherwise, is going to be Anarchid and Anarchid and the Slashers. It's their new band. It's a death metal band. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but you know, I kind of respect what they're doing, and I mean that of the Slashers as well. I kind of, I see what they're trying to do as far as it looks like. Wait a sec, no, what is Anarchid doing? No, Anarchid's not doing what I think they're doing at all. They're going for just a calm rush. Hero's thinking, oh no, they're going for kind of a defensive setup. They can push forward a little bit. No, they're going for a full-blown calm rush, and it's going to work, too. Pokemoko's losing their... are just about to lose the commander. Actually, Anarchid... No, Anarchid's going to have it backfire. Losing their commander in the process. Instead, there goes Anarchid's economy. There goes Anarchid's storage. They have no energy left. They have one metal extractor. Nothing else is built. Five slashers coming in to try to deal with the wreckage. Try to fix this all up, but there's no way Anarchid can rebuild from this. They have basically no energy left. And Hero's thinking, oh yeah, sure, Slashers to defend against Ducks. And they work for that purpose. But no, I'm not even noticing the fact that Anarchid hasn't even built up metal extractors. I wasn't even thinking about it because neither was Hokomoko. Hokomoko had moved their commander forward and was trying to build up in the front. This feels like a hard read from Anarchid's part. And Hokomoko is still isn't out of the woods. These five Slashers, I mean, they deal with Ducks, no problem. So right now, Hokomoko needs to rapidly rebuild and they only have their factory working at half power. So they've got a minute left to try to get these slashers from away from their base and Hokomoko's commander at 500 HP by the time the slashers actually get to them. This is not going to end well. I think Anarchid still has this game. And yes, indeed they do. Hokomoko's commander getting killed as it jumps. If it had stayed on the ground, it would have lived longer for <coughs> just because the Amphib plant would have blocked line of sight. Holy crap, that was the one time it was a bad idea to jump, although in in future, and also as a reference point, slashers typically get rid of jumping units just like that. There's no easy way to get around slashers without blocking line of sight. And jumping, of course, does the opposite of that. Like, I've seen quite a few units try to jump away from slashers and die in midair, usually pyros. So yeah. Also, no metal excess, or very little metal excess. Actually, seems like losing the commander kind of breaks the metal excess graph, come to think of it. Well, at any rate. Yeah, that was... that was that. The... Okay, end on a cheese. Why not? Anyway, that is that. I hope you enjoyed that. This is gonna be it for me tonight, so... Thank you for watching, everybody. And, like I said before, if you do have any games you want to have casted, just let me know. And if you wanted to have some live thing of you and another person, also, go ahead and let me know. I will be happy to do live casting as well. I mean, that's the entire reason I do the replays unspoiled is to practice for live casts for things like tournaments. So I am in the mindset of how to do a game, not knowing what the result will be in advance. So yeah, if you want me to do something live, just let me know and make sure you have it organized with another player. And if you want me to do something from a replay that you've seen, then once again, just let me know and I will gladly do that. So, otherwise, thank you for watching and have a good night, everyone.